the brachial artery is the continuation of the axillary artery. So the axillary artery, just imagine this is the axillary artery at the lower border of the teres major. This is teres major muscle. From the lower border of the teres major, the brachial artery continues downwards. This is axillary artery, that is third part of axillary artery. This is teres major muscle and this is the brachial artery. From the lower border of the teres major onwards, the axillary artery continues downwards as brachial artery. In the upper part of the arm, the brachial artery is present on the medial side. As it moves downwards, it comes to the front of the elbow and in the terminally, it ends by dividing into two arteries at the neck of the radius. These are radial artery and ulnar artery. These are the two terminal branches of the brachial artery. So the extension of the brachial artery, it starts as a continuation from the lower border of the teres major. It ends at the neck of the radius by dividing into radial artery and ulnar artery. Apart from its terminal branches, radial artery and ulnar artery, it gives other branches, especially the muscular branches and it gives another large branch that is called profunda brachii artery, profunda brachii artery, profunda brachii artery, which runs in the posterior compartment along with the radial nerve in the radial groove. So as it is going here, it gives a profunda brachii artery which enters in the posterior compartment along with the radial nerve in the radial groove. Apart from muscular branches, profunda brachii artery, it also gives nutrient artery to the humerus. Apart from muscular branches, profunda brachii artery, nutrient artery, it gives superior ulnar collateral artery, inferior ulnar collateral artery. These two arteries will involve in the anastomosis around the elbow joint and it also gives two terminal branches as already mentioned that is radial artery and ulnar artery. So these are the branches of brachial artery, muscular branches, profunda brachial artery, nutrient artery, superior ulnar collateral artery, inferior ulnar collateral artery and the terminal branches will be radial artery and ulnar artery.